Would you look at the time there? It's time for me to stop sleeping on yet another artist. To be honest, I've never heard of Chase Atlantic until you guys, and again, you guys haven't steered me wrong yet. I'm hoping this is not the video that proves you guys wrong. I don't think it will be. I'm also not gonna lie, a little tired. I do this thing to myself where I go to bed really late when I know I have to wake up in like four hours. I hate myself, like what's new? I don't know. So I need Chase Atlantic to come through and give me life, give me soul. They can do that, we'll be good. So let's get started. Ooh, okay. We're getting some vibey ass shit in this album, aren't we? Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been catching planes for the fun of it. His voice in particular, I don't know who he is. But damn. Oh. Hello. Good morning to you too, production. This is such a good introduction. Oh my god. This is nothing what I expected. But I'm pleasantly surprised. I really like it. Wow. Wow. That is the first track, ladies and gentlemen. That is crazy. Yeah, I really don't know what else to say. I... Like, I have a lot to say, but I have nothing to say at the same time. I don't know. Okay, whenever there's a name involved, we're either gonna get some tea or we're gonna get, like, the best love story ever. I can't get over his voice. I can't get over it. It's freaking me out. Y'all hear those harmonies? I can't get over the choice of instruments that they've been choosing. Is there like a saxophone in this song? Who would have thought to put a saxophone in this? I love his voice. Something so calming about it. Which is interesting because you have the other voice, I don't know their names, I do apologize, but the other voice is very, like it stands out on its own, you know what I mean? It's very like it's gonna grab your attention, here I am, listen to me, these are my words, blah 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 blah. And then you have him who's so calming and so relaxing and you put them together and it just somehow works. You know what I mean? This line in particular, I don't know why, but I'm just in love with it. When they say, we say some words, we land them wrong. I think that's such an interesting way of just saying, we say the wrong things. Cassie seems like a little drug lord. I don't know, maybe she should get with Black Bear, maybe not Chase Atlantic. I don't know. I'll never stop and then stop. Brilliant. Brilliant. Why do I want to cry? Oh my god, they sound like a hospital bed. Are we dead? Where's Cassie? Oh my god, where are we? The walls? This one? What? That verse. Listen. All their other songs have been very honed in onto like the alternative sound and that one was pulling stuff from like an R&B, hip hop kind of feel. I was not expecting them to switch it up like that. That was so cool. Oh. I honestly have a picture like in my head of a music video. And those are my favorite songs when you first listen to it. And there's just a story that is progressing. Is that how it ends? Oh no. Oh. Still 
I'm so shook right now. Have I been saying anything that makes sense? I don't even know. Interesting with the drums. There's something about that part. It gives me such a like nostalgic feeling. It makes me think of some like big 80s song. Like the very start of it, you know? Oh shit! Damn! <laughs> yeah, these lyrics are very deep and very dark. I need to look up these people. I'm so curious. Who is making these lyrics? Who is writing about these experiences? Hold up. Quick intermission. Oh, there's three people? Okay, this this might sound weird, but they look like what I would imagine them to look like. They have that whole vibe, they have that whole essence that you hear in their music. Which is really cool because you know then like they're not fronting, they're not trying to be a sound or be an image or be this. Like I genuinely feel like this is them. Oh What language is that? It sounds like French or something. Production is ridiculous. Like that's ridiculous, right? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Who mixed this? Ah! This was in the rap part, so this lyric was, "Now nah, I've been alone almost all my life, girl." Retweet and shit like that don't change up overnight sweet. I'll let you sleep in my tea Tell me the things that you don't normally tweet if I didn't write that if that is not me in a nutshell Like I don't know and them saying please understand that I'm trying my hardest my head's a mess But I'm trying regardless anxiety is one hell of a problem if you know me I'm very open about mental health issues. I like talking about it as someone who has Dealt with anxiety like on a really bad level. I'm really here for these messages High key. It's so interesting because usually I feel like with artists, you either have two of these three options. You have really good production, really bomb ass lyrics, and great vocals. However, when it comes to this band, like I feel like I can faithfully say that they have all three. Dance with the devil, that was in the other song. I think this one's my least favorite so far out of all of them. <laughs> oh. See what I mean with the production? Like, did they have to put the phone in there? No, but they did, and it gave it a character. Oh, it's gonna be one of those songs. Okay. These are some dark ass lyrics. Who heard them? This song genuinely makes me sad. I'm like, do you need a talk? Like, do you need a hug? This was a very interesting song. I want to hear your guys' opinions on this song. Personally, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the word triggered has changed its meaning with the internet and people making jokes and this and that. And again, talking about like the really deep and dark emotions because I don't know people who really put it out like this. Like this isn't sugarcoating it and like, oh I'm sad or oh I'm depressed and blah, blah. like this is real. This I can see from personal experience, someone talking about it. And honestly, I commend them for that because that's hard to do. It's hard to be vulnerable and to put it all out there, especially in your music, but I think that's the best way to do it at the same time. So, like five points to Gryffindor on that one. Really? Ozone. Please drag the people who are trying to kill the earth. Susan, I'm looking at you. Vocal. 
balls. Ah. Ah. These metaphors, bitch. I am in English class right now. Teach me. I love this song. This is the best one so far. See the backing vocals, my heart is just blind. Ha! Oh, why? Oh. Oh? These metaphors, we're not playing around this one, okay? Did that, was that even English? I don't know. <laughs> Did that even make sense? I think I missed a couple, like, words, but it's fine. When they're talking about ozone, they're talking about this, like, ugh, like, I understand it, but it's so hard to explain it. Like, it's this bubble that is around their relationship and it's kind of like the mold I feel like when you first start a relationship because everything's all pretty and rainbows and sunshine and this and that and as time goes on you know he fucks up she fucks up whatever the ozone starts getting destroyed and him talking about the smoke I feel like he's referring to the whole image of smoke and mirrors how people perceive something to be a way that it's not so with all that smoke and mirrors you see the reality of the situation and obviously he's taking a lot of the blame for it but I'm just in love with these lyrics. I don't know if he's gonna be able to top it. We'll see. Like, let me try to move on. Okay. What do you got for me next? The saxophone's back. I feel like I'm listening to Kenny Rogers. In the middle of every dark. You know what he sounds like? He sounds like the lead singer of, uh, I still don't know how to pronounce it, Lanny, Lonnie. He sounds like Paul. His voice reminds me so much of Paul. I don't know if they've made this one a single, but they should if they haven't. I feel like this would reach a lot of different audiences, and it's a good introduction to them. Hey, we are dealing with the Wicked Witch of the West. I think she's crazy. I've known you for like 40 minutes and I think she's crazy. But they gave her a nice beat, let me tell you. You know what's funny? The entire time, I kept thinking of Angelina from Jersey Shore. Why? No idea. Is there a correlation? Absolutely not. Was that a good vocal? Hell yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be one that I'm gonna end up skipping. Listening back to the album. Okay is okay to me, personally. I feel like everyone's gonna hate me for saying that, but... It's just not a favorite out of the other ones that I've heard. 23. Close. I'm gonna be 22 in November and that scares the absolute hell out of me. Wow, another sad ass song that I can relate my whole entire existence to. Why? <laughs> Why am I like this? I don't know. But I feel this. I don't want to feel this, but I feel this. Interesting that the storm sounds are back. See, there's a big pattern when he gets very vulnerable with his lyrics and talks about things maybe that are uncomfortable for him, those sound effects always come in. 
I don't know if that was just intentional. I think it is though. All right, this track I'm not feeling either. This tends to happen personally for me at the end of albums. I feel like the further you go into the album, the more filler tracks are included. For me, it's a filler track. For you, it's probably not, and that's totally okay. Different opinions. Would you want to be here if I didn't give you my opinion? No. So that's my opinion. <laughs> Depressing ass lyrics that I relate to. Why? Ah! I don't want to feel <laughs> like I get it. Feeling uncomfortable. I understand. Whatever your name is, whoever wrote this, I feel like I want to cry, but I'm gonna sit here and bop my ass at the same time. I just. Yes, they changed it up for the last chorus. Thank you. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> ah! I love production like this so much. It's so like, like cinematic almost. That was a good one. That, I think, is my second favorite track. All right, so I just finished listening to the album. Honestly, overall, I feel like it's a very good collective sound like I can definitely hear different influences put into the music but it is still authentically them from what I can tell I do have to say I think the only thing I would say that they have to work on when it comes to vocals is um, them pronouncing words I don't know if it's maybe just because of their accent or whatever but there are some lyrics I get a little bit lost production was their girl oh I think I've talked about it enough for like a lifetime but Honestly blown away. My favorite is definitely Ozone and then Uncomfortable. Those are my top two right now from this album. Overall, I think it was a really good album. I don't know if this is like their debut album. I'm not really sure, but I don't know. I thought it was really strong. It was really good. And anyway, that's my reaction to Chase Atlantic. What did you guys think of Chase Atlantic? What are your favorite tracks? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to check out my other channel if you want to see different content besides reactions from me. And remember to stay weird and always be real. And I will see you in the next one.